The Galaxy S25 Ultra has officially entered the scene, and it's already making waves in the top-of-the-line smartphone category, competing directly with Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Google's Pixel 9 Pro XL. This flagship from Samsung is a force to be reckoned with. While personal preferences like design may sway individual opinions, whether you favor the iPhone's refined aesthetics or the Galaxy's newly softer and less aggressive design, there's one place where subjectivity doesn't matter, benchmark scores. When it comes to pure performance, numbers don't lie. That's where Geekbench steps in, providing a detailed look at the CPU and GPU performance of smartphones. It eliminates bias, delivering an objective comparison of raw power. And now, we have the Geekbench results comparing the Galaxy S25 Ultra to Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's dive into the details. On X, at TechInfo Socials posted what appears to be Geekbench results for the iPhone 16 Pro Max L and the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra R. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's 18 Pro application processor, AP, which has built a strong reputation for dominating single-core performance metrics. In the Geekbench test, the iPhone 16 Pro Max achieved an impressive single-core score of 3457, narrowly edging out the Galaxy S25 Ultra's Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy, which posted a score of 3220. While Apple retains its crown in single-core performance, the gap is closer than you might expect. For years, Apple's A-Series chips have set the benchmark for single-core efficiency, and the A18 Pro continues this legacy. But Samsung's Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy has shown it's no slouch, making significant strides to close the performance gap. Now here's where things get really exciting. When we shift our focus to multi-core performance, the Galaxy S25 Ultra takes the lead and does so decisively. The Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy recorded a multi-core score of 10,223, leaving the iPhone 16 Pro Max far behind with a score of 8,553. This multi-core dominance highlights Samsung's commitment to optimizing its custom Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. It's worth noting that both the A18 Pro and the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy are built using TSMC's second-generation 3-in process, known as N3e. However, Samsung has pushed the envelope with its chip design, ensuring peak performance when handling tasks that demand multiple CPU cores working simultaneously. One key factor behind the Galaxy S25 Ultra's success lies in its clock speeds. The performance cores on the Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy are clocked at an impressive 4.47 GHz. The battle between the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max isn't just about raw power, it's about how each phone caters to different user needs. While Apple continues to lead in single-core performance, Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra has firmly established its dominance in multi-core tasks, thanks to the overclocked Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy chip. If you're looking for a smartphone that balances cutting-edge performance with thoughtful software integration, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is a solid choice. But at the end of the day, both devices bring something unique to the table. Which flagship would you choose? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. And compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3mm x 79mm. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1Hz when the phone is idle. 
Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch AMOLED display that also supports 120Hz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well, but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top-tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.